Super volcanoes are the largest explosive volcanoes eruptions on Earth, occurring roughly once every 100,000 years on average, while past giant eruptions help to define a super volcanoes in the future. For example, if Yellowstone does erupt again, the most likely outcome would be a hydrothermal eruption, which is characterized by violent explosions that eject steam, water, mud, and rock. Lava flows would be the most likely type of volcanic eruption. These could range in size dramatically and may or may not include explosive facies. Meanwhile, the worst case scenario would be a giant super explosion although the risk of such an event occurring in any given century is tiny. While extremely unlikely, such an event would be catastrophic, resulting in the ejection of vast amounts of ash and debris into the atmosphere that could have the potential to affect the global climate. Given the inherent uncertainties, it is even possible that Yellowstone will never see an eruption on such a scale again. Other recent research has examined the processes taking place under the ground in the Yellowstone region, shedding light on the eruptive potential of the volcanoes. Studied this year found that there was significantly more magma beneath the super volcanoes than previously thought. Scientists analyzed seismic data to map the location and amount of melt the liquid part of magma under the caldera. This magma also needs to be distributed so that it can mobilize and erupt as a coherent body. Therefore, a key issue for eruption hazard assessment is to ascertain how much magma is below the surface. Scientists found that more melt was present than had previously been recognized and that it was located at shallow depths in the crust in the depth range where previous eruptions were sourced. They also found that the magma reservoir below the caldera was approximately twice as large as previously thought. But the scientists said the amount of melt is significantly lower than required for an eruption to occur in the near future. Continued monitoring of the subsurface should provide a clear picture if the situation begins to dramatically change. Given that supervolcanoes often go through periods of unrest, including seismic activity, ground defamation, and gas emissions, the monitoring of these processes must contend with the challenge of differentiating normal unrest from signs that an eruption is imminent. Further research is needed to better understand the processes that cause these supervolcanoes to erupt in order to help predict such events.